Welcome to part two of the Anthem gameplay series. In this episode, we are going to look at the expanding world of Anthem and its end game content. We're a long way from the Cenotaph and the storm is worse than we thought. This is it, close as we get with the Striders. Agreed, looks like we fly from here. When you start Anthem, you are a freshly recruited freelancer that joins a failed mission to shut down a cataclysm called the Heart of Rage. It beat us, Alec. We need to regroup. It is up to you to redeem the freelancers and ultimately find a way to succeed in silencing it. This story is your introduction into the world, but the game doesn't end with its conclusion. The most dedicated freelancers will push themselves against tougher and tougher challenges, taking on more daring and deadly quests. In order to do this, you will have to improve not only yourself, but your arsenal of javelins. This is where your path to glory begins. As you continue to level up and become a more powerful pilot, new content and challenges will become available to you. With six modes of difficulty, including three which are unlocked in Endgame, Anthem will have a challenge for all levels of players, from easy to Grandmaster 3. The higher the difficulty, the better the chances you will have in finding the rarest gear and personalization items in the game. When you want to make a statement, Maybe polish that javelin up with a nice coat of pain and thunder. What's the use of being the best pilot in Bastion if your style doesn't match your power? From greeting friends in our social hub, the launch bay, to how you arrive on missions or celebrate your victories, we give you lots of opportunity to show off your javelin style. Each suit has many ways to get it looking just the way you want. From unique armor pieces, customizing color and textures, to collecting vinyls and emotes. Your suit will soon become a reflection of yourself, making your wins all the more glorious. Once you reach the pilot level of 30, you will continue to improve your javelins by finding or crafting the rarest gear. That's where our end game content really begins for you. At this point, you have likely finished the core story mission and your focus will begin to shift to new objectives. These are challenges, contracts, free play, and strongholds. Matthias Sumner was investigating some relics at a ruin near the fort. I need you to find him and bring him back home safe. People you meet in Fort Tarsus will sometimes need your help and offer you contracts. These are unpredictable missions in which you deal with various problems in the world. By increasing your reputation with different groups, you'll gain access to crafting blueprints. Doing daily, weekly, and monthly challenges will provide you crafting material and coin. This is a great way to make not only new gear, but further personalize your javelins. On occasion, people will offer you legendary contracts. Hello, hello, hello. These missions have multiple parts to them and are far more difficult to complete. In this case, Matthias Sumner, an arcanist, hires you to not only provide valuable field research, but also stop a Dominion plot to wake a Titan. Strongholds represent some of the highest level challenges in the game and will require a team to take them on. These typically are longer challenges that will test all that you have learned as a freelancer. Whether or not your javelins can withstand the deadliest enemies in the world. Plan well, communicate with your team, and you will benefit from some of the most rewarding loot Anthem has to offer. Anthem is a living, changing world with threats arising from mysterious and dangerous places all the time. New missions, characters, and stories will be introduced in the weeks and months to come. This could either be a single scout or the beginning of something much, much bigger. Some of these changes will be small. Others will enrich the social experience with guilds and social hubs, while others will be massive and world-changing events. Everything you will have done in the game is preparing you for what is about to come. Our most ambitious and challenging content will come to Anthem in the form of cataclysms. Time-limited world events that cause physical manifestations to occur. Extreme weather, incursions of dangerous hostile enemies, and new mysteries to solve. The story of Anthem has just begun. 
What might have seemed impossible when you were a fresh recruit will challenge you to new heights as you build your arsenal of javelins and unleash your power. Strong alone, stronger together, right? Ha! Ah, who told you that? The world of Anthem is a chaotic and ever-changing world, abandoned by the Shaper Gods. Humanity survives either in fortified cities or with the use of Javelin exosuits. Javelins are key to your survival by giving you superhuman abilities. Fly, swim, fight, and explore anywhere within the world. That's where you and your friends come in. Part explorer, protector, and adventurer. You are an elite group of pilots called Freelancers that are sworn to protect humanity and uncover the mysteries of the world. In the world, the dangers all stem from one mysterious power. The anthem of creation is everything. To control it is everything. Uh, okay, but what could he even do with it? What could he do with the power of life and death, creation and destruction? He would be a god. Imagine all the good that we could do. We decide what's best for the world the power of pure creation at our fingertips. Your story begins in the middle of this conflict. It will be up to you to head out on missions, silence Shaper ruins, confront enemy factions, and most importantly, ensure that the Dominion do not get their hands on the Anthem of Creation. Before you head out on these missions, you need to prepare your Javelin. Unlock four base Javelin suits and then build any number of loadouts to customize them for different playstyles. The Interceptor is built for speed, lightning fast and incredibly agile to get in and out of harm's way. The Ranger is built for precision, highly versatile and ready to unleash firepower. The Colossus is built to deal destruction. What it lacks in agility, it makes up for in brute strength and defensive combat power. The Storm is built for extraordinary elemental attacks, devastating power and light armor. No matter which javelin you choose, your loadout can be customized and augmented to match your gameplay style. Your javelin ability has everything to do with the gear you use. Your gear score is the indication of how powerful your javelin is. Each javelin has the following slots. Two for offensive gear, one for support gear, two weapons, six components, and one ultimate power that is unique to each javelin type. In this case, we have four loadouts ready to go for the Ranger. Each one I've set up for different play styles. Let's have a look at my team support specialist. We are using the Venom Darts and a Frost Grenade for offensive gear. This will be great for applying ice and acid status and for setting up combos. For support gear, we are using the Bulwark Point, which places a spherical shield in the battle. For weapons, we have a Hammerhead Assault Rifle and the semi-auto sniper rifle. One will give medium range damage, while the other allows for fantastic long range damage. For my six components, I have a selection of items that will help keep my weapons at maximum performance. Before you head out, you have a choice on a number of objectives and ways to play. Continue your critical story mission, pick up quests from people in the fort, including your crew, enter one of the formidable strongholds or explore the open world in free play. Let's start by checking in with Halleck and continue with one of our story missions. It's just us in the Dominion now. Good. It's a freelancer job. Always has been. Ready, jump in one? Ready when you are. We've got your back. You go there and you kick some ass. In this first fight, we are going up against the Dominion Fury. A Fury. The Dominion are playing games. Be careful. The Fury hits incredibly hard and will regenerate itself. It will be important to keep moving and use cover or the bulwark point. Two things to remember. Protect yourself and time your attacks to do maximum damage in bursts. The Storm is set up for maximum damage using elemental attacks like Lightning Strike and Flaming Orb. Its quickening field will reduce cooldowns within its perimeter allowing everyone to use their offensive powers more often. 
Timing your ultimate attacks with your team will ensure enemies like the Fury won't have a chance to regenerate. There, you got them. You survived the Fury. You best head back to the fort. I'll let Tassa know we need to talk. At the end of each mission, head back to the fort. Collect your loot, customize your javelin, pick a new suit, and head out for more. This time, let's enter free play. In free play, the map is open to you to explore the way you want, head in any direction, and discover endless activities and receive missions along the way. Run into other players on the map, or call in a friend when you need an extra set of weapons to take down the deadliest creatures the world has to offer. Here we see the Colossus and Interceptor are opposites in almost every way, making them a great pair in battle. The Colossus is built to be in the middle of the fight, with its heavy weapons and durable shield. Taunting enemies with Battle Cry will keep enemies focused on it. This will allow the Interceptor to charge in and out of the fight, inflicting its melee damage without being attacked. Powers like Wraith Strike will send out a shadow version of the Interceptor, or use the target beacon to mark an enemy, then charge in with the spark dash to finish it off. In Anthem, build your ultimate arsenal of javelins. Head out into the world and unleash your power. Stay tuned for the next installment that shows you the expanding shared world of Anthem and its massive endgame, including a look at